Hi and welcome to Linux in School. Today you're going to learn how to take your Windows 10 laptop and put a Linux on it with Windows staying side by side. Here you can see I have already started my screen grab. Let's go to a bit bigger. This is my laptop, as you can see from the small window there. This is a ThinkPad, Lenovo ThinkPad T44-440P. And what I have done, I'm in my Windows side right now. I've gone over to my C drive. I right clicked on it and I go, went to the shrink volume part. So that give, gave me 179.41 gigabytes of unallocated uh, space. So now I have unallocated uh, disk space where I can install Linux. Um, then what I've done as well is that I went to Ubuntu, went to download desktop and I took the Ubuntu 2010 and then I checked over how to write a bootable Ubuntu USB stick on Windows. It happens with this great application called Rufus and I made sure that it is on my uh, USB stick. Oops. And the boot selection will be the Ubuntu uh, 2010. Um, I'm using the MBR partisan scheme, it's a UEFI uh, and, and so forth. And then that's it. Now I have on the side of my laptop, there it is, a USB key um, drive, thumb drive that is going to be able to then boot into Ubuntu. So let's Turn this a uh, shut down. Do not restart. Um, Windows 10 is kind of a nitpicky, and if you do a restart, um, it might go into a sort sort of a hibernation instead of um, instead of that being um, actually shut down, and then uh, installing will be harder. So let's see. Um, Let's um, let's actually go back into that where you can see the laptop as well. All right, so there we are, laptop ready. Let's press the button and see what happens. Nothing, evidently. Did I? Let's go and start off. Okay, I need to, this is the problem with Windows. Uh, it wants to take over everything and I just want to be able to quickly press the F2 to, to get choose a temporary startup device. There it is, and it's a SanDisk Cruiser Edge, and now I am able to, going to go into Ubuntu. Hopefully my screen grab will start soon, so you'll be able to enjoy this as we start installing. Yes, Ubuntu checking disks. Um, you can, if you know that there are no corruptions um, over, you can control and C and it will stop the uh, checking disk. I usually um, let, the, um, let it run uh, when I'm doing it for the first time, but right now I've used this uh, USB stick before and uh, this, this key should work. So, um, knock on something. Um, I really like how slick the Ubuntu um, 
boot up screen right now is. I, I really like the way that it's uh, integrating itself into the um, computer. So let's get started. Now, regular, now you can see my big uh, problem here. It's not really a problem. Uh, however, it is um, uh, a small inconvenience. So. Ubuntu already recognizes that I have two screens, that I have the laptop screen that is here on my main, uh, on my small camera, and then this view, this great gorilla that you can see here. And I need it to be, of course, uh, mirroring. So I don't go directly into the installer. I'm going to try Ubuntu first so that I can hop over and set up the display so that uh, we can have, <coughs> excuse me, mirroring here. And once this is done, then everything should be, yes, we keep this. It's now going to go well. So, let's get down to installing business uh, you can see here is the installer double clicking on that we'll get it running we'll do it on english keyboard layout is german but since i don't know how to use that correctly i am going to disregard that I'm going to get into Wi-Fi as well. Nope. Well, I should have looked instead of just typed. Uh -huh. And they're connecting with my Wi-Fi. And yes, all my machines and um, Wi-Fi's and everything it is from Lord of the Rings uh, what what apps would you like to install normal installation download updates while installing yes you want to do that and third-party software and Wi-Fi hardware yes as a teacher uh, you want to do that because that just minimizes any problems that you might have later on and now we are going to go into the disk management say whoa what would you like to do um and we will then say yes we will want to install it to the empty uh hard disk space that i already created on the windows side now this will take a few moments as it is checking um also looking at um, my selection, my prior selections, and then um, going, starting off the disk management system, subsystem here. Now, while we wait, um, I am not going to speed up at all uh, what i want to show you is um, a really a regular system oh there we go uh, and now it says install ubuntu alongside windows 10. yes that's what i want and install now Yes, this is what I want. Where am I? I'm in Germany, so yes. And then it is, you'll just give your credentials. My computer name, ah, here. Now this is, whew, I need to think now. That would be that will do good and
There we go. And now we just wait and see how long the installer takes. This is really everything that there is um, for us to do. Basically now the installer is just going to run through it. It's creating a file system in partition number six uh, on the SDA. So SDA stands for um, that um, disk uh, that is inside. Um, and I only have one. So uh, uh, both Windows and Linux are now going to be uh, residing on the same spot here and now we've moved to copying files so basically um, you can also check for your installer what is it doing by opening up that little arrow here so that gives you the terminal um, you don't have to if you don't want to and almost finish it okay great let's let's see what else uh there is that sort of a slideshow going on saying uh gives you more information of uh, what is going to happen um where you can um you know um if this is the uh, software center where you can uh install all your um software and applications uh, for music you can use rhythm box uh, music player now what's really great is that yes we can use this included software but we have other software like if you are using Spotify as your main um, music collection you can use Spotify on Ubuntu or on Linux easily as well you do not need to let go of all the things that you've already done and uh, what you're used to uh, using. It's, it, it's uh, only a matter of checking whether um, the manufacturer has indeed created a Linux version as well. For uh, photo uh, management, you can have a shot well, but uh, we have, and for uh, videos, we can use um, a shortcut, for instance. Um, we have also uh, for image editing, uh, game image editor. Okay, so now uh, this is a uh, part of the installer where it's retrieving files. So these are now the files that I said I want to make sure that we're getting the updates over and also making sure that any third party um, systems that we might need to be using um, those files are going to be installed as well. So they are not on the USB. Um, they need to be um, retrieved over the internet. And so that in some cases might slow your installing time quite a bit if you have a, sh um, a slow internet connection. So then you might want to opt into not installing them. Uh, over at once and then do it over time once you are configuring your own uh, own machine so unpacking we are at unpacking different um, software so what in a Linux system and li Linux lingo what happens right now is that first uh, the packages are copied and then the installer starts to unpack them and put uh, um, populating your file system um, the main the default um, office environment for Ubuntu is LibreOffice and um, which is a full suite um, having the writer, calculator, and impress that are um, basically their um, um, word and 
um, Excel and PowerPoint or in Google language they would be the docs, the sheets and the slides. Um, you have everything um, for the uh, GNOME desktop. Um, you can have all the settings uh, tweaked within the um, settings application. However, I would also install the tweaks so that you can go into and tweak even uh, even finer detail of uh, some aspects of that uh, pretty good looking uh, desktop that Ubuntu is already uh, providing for you. Configuring hardware, this is uh, uh, just the installer checking that um, everything that um, I've asked for um, it's done uh, and if there are any proprietary uh, hardware that needs to needs to uh, install something that is not by default an open source uh, licensed um, it will now add that uh, as an option for me to choose uh, and now this is pretty much the uh, the most important thing um, for the operating system, which is uh, installing the CRUB, uh, because this allows me to now choose when I boot up. Uh, it allows me to choose whether I use Linux or whether I use the Windows side. So. Hopefully that works out of the bag really well. And as you can see, the bar is, is uh, moving on quite nicely. Ooh, this is bad news for me right now. So, what happened was that I need to go and restart, see whether it now completely ruined my install or whether this was a hitch that we can actually work on. So I'm restarting after that uh, terrible um, message. Let's see what happens. Um, it did find Ubuntu, it did find Windows on it. Let's see if it was just that it did not do the cleanup. So uh, didn't clean up all the files out. Um, that usually happens on that last bit of uh, installer or whether this, no, it looks it looks fine. Um, well, you can't see it yet because we're still on that dual screen part. Let me just log in and I will fix that screen for you. So um, it was a bigger scare than than it needed to be. Uh, let me just grab first this mirror so you'll see what happens. Right, okay. First things uh, what Ubuntu wants to do is do, would you like to send the information off like those uh, things that break? Um, and I opt yes. Um, location services. Um, yes i want to use location services or no i do not want to use location services um with software you can so the software center allows me to install my uh, favorite apps and you can just click on um, open software now i don't want to do it right now so here we go um fresh install of Ubuntu 2010 with a um, small hitch um, on it, but still we are uh, good to go. 
um, updated software has been issued uh, and it will say what I should do to do. So first of all is to install the update. So that is everything that I'm going to do with you guys today. Thank you so much for joining. Um, and I will be showing again, um, what do you do when you have two operating systems on the same machine and how you can use the best of both worlds. If you like this kind of content, if you want to see more of it, just leave a comment, subscribe and like that helps the channel out. And I also know that someone is watching. Bye for now and I see you in the next one.